Hey guys, Joyce and Anthony aka JJ. I'm in Blender 4.4 Alpha and I just clicked General. This is part two of experimenting with Geku's deep paint add-on. And first we're going to make a tree stump and then we're going to experiment with his textured brushes, specifically pastel. So once I deleted my cube, I added a cylinder. I'm just pressing S to scale it and then G and then Z to move it along the Z axis. If you watched video one, we went step by step on installing the deep paint add-on, but since it's installed, I'm gonna press N and that is going to move the toolbar on the right and find deep. And then I'm gonna turn on the wireframe. And before we go into sculpt mode, the cylinder, it's too perfect. I'm gonna go down to modifier and turn on, I'm just gonna select, excuse me, remesh because it kind of gives like a more stylized look which i like and now we're going to go to the sculpting tab and remember how we had on wireframe and object mode for me this is just personal preference so i'm just pressing in again finding deep and just turning on wireframe also in sculpt mode even with the remesh modifier i still think it's too perfect so i'm going to press g and I'm gonna just kind of adjust the sides so it's kind of irregular. For this, I'm just using my mouse. Normally I'll use like my tablet, but using your mouse is fine for this. I'm also going to use the brush to push down the middle of the top of the tree stump. I'm also going to push down the top of the tree stump. I did fast forward this part and so right here I'm satisfied with the tree stump but now I need to pull out the roots. So I'm going to turn on dynamic typology and it's really good for adding irregular organic details and I'm going to just adjust the detail size. I'll do 6.9. And I need to change my brush to snake hook. And yes, in Blender 4.4 Alpha, they did change the interface. And I'm just gonna go down, there it is. And this is what I'm gonna use to pull out the roots. Took a couple of tries, but I am satisfied with my tree stump. So we are done with sculpt mode. So we are going to go back to layout. The tree stump is technically fine, but I learned this in the deep paint class. Now I'm gonna turn the wireframe back on and I'm gonna go down to modifiers to turn on the decimate modifier which allows you to reduce the face count of a mesh with minimal shape changes. If you see that, I just think that looks a little bit smoother. I'm going to deselect it and then right click and shade auto smooth. So yeah, there's my tree stump. And we're gonna be doing three different experiments. So I did shift D And under that first tree stump, that is Suzanne. Let me move her up. Suzanne, if you don't know, that's the Blender mascot. I'm gonna have Suzanne right above each tree stump because I'm gonna demonstrate what I'm gonna do with Suzanne. And then we're going to replicate that for each tree stump. So I'm gonna press Shift D to duplicate Suzanne and have her above each tree stump. Okay, that's good. I'm going to change from solid view to rendered view. So we're able to see when we're painting. And I just click the top right. And right now the background is black. I want to make that white. So I'm in the world properties tab and I'm going to change the strength to maybe close to one, a little under one. And I want there to be like a ground. 
So I'm going to do Shift A, Mesh, and then Plane. To scale my plane, I press S, then 10, and then that was too small. So then I press S and then 20. And I want my the ground to be green. So I'm going to press N again to bring back the Deep Paint add-on. Then I'm going to select DPM, which stands for Deep Paint Material. And right now it's default white. I'm going to make it a greenish color, maybe a little bit darker. So then I'm going to click set vertex color. Okay. So my ground's a little bit too big. So I'm just going to press S to scale it down. Okay. I think that's good. Mm, no, I just, I kind of want to scale up slightly all the Suzanne's and all the tree trunks. I'm just selecting everything and then just pressing S to scale it a little bit and then G and then Z again to move it on the Z axis. Okay, now that that's done, I'm going to Suzanne number one. So kind of like what we did for the ground, we are going to do that for Suzanne. So by pressing in DPM and it's going to become the color that I used previously. So now I'm gonna make it like a brownish color. I think that's good. I'm gonna click set vertex color and that's fine, but I wanna add some like shading and lighting. So now I'm gonna go from object mode to vertex paint. And then just add some darker and lighter colors. I'm going to fast forward this to when I finish coloring Suzanne, but hopefully you get what I'm doing. Just adding lighter and darker colors. Okay. Suzanne number one is done. So what I did for her, I'm going to do for tree stump number one. So you add DPM, select that, and then go from object mode to vertex paint, and then just add lighting and shadows. And again, this does, I always do, I always like it's supposed to be an experiment and I always take way too long. So I do fast forward this to when I finish. Cause if not, this video was like three hours long. <laughs> Okay, so Suzanne number one and tree stump number one are done. Now we're going to go to Suzanne number two. And now we're going to be using the textured painting. So we're not going to go to DPM like we did for the previous two examples. We're going to go down. Wait, sorry. First, make sure that the stroke placement is on surface. Now we can go down to, let me close the modifier, to texture and then select add texture. And that's fine. I'm going to select OK. Oh no, Suzanne turned black. I was actually experimenting before I started filming. So this is just a, I'm just checking. Okay, to fix this, I need to go back to layout. Material properties on the bottom right, kind of looks like a little world. And I'm going to select, see that's DPM. That's when I was experimenting previously. So I'm gonna select new and I'll change the name to just deep in. yeah so now when i do it everything should be okay add texture okay good so now i'm gonna go from layout to shading i'm going to press in again to bring up the deep paint add-on and select deep and then under texture i'm going to select pastel Right here, I did click pastel, but then I click command Z to undo and I didn't realize, but right now I have the paint hard brush instead of the pastel. I will realize it after I start painting. So 
So I'm coloring, I'm like, wait, where's the pastel? So I need to go back down and re-click pastel. Every time you undo something, it takes you out of the add-on to one of the blender default brushes. Let me delete that bottom base. That was by accident on my part. So I'm just gonna keep on coloring Suzanne with the pastel brush. I did fast forward to the end of coloring Suzanne number two. So now that she's done, we are going to repeat that process for stump number two. Remember how previously when we had like that blackout, Suzanne turned black, we went to material properties and created a new material. This time we're going to select the drop down and use DPM2, what we used for Suzanne number two. So I'm gonna go back to shading, but when I go in, I'm going from object mode to texture, paint, and shading. Sometimes you're gonna get that error message. I start to paint, it like stops. It kind of seems like Suzanne from the top, it's bleeding down to the tree stump, but I'm not able to effectively color the tree stump. We're gonna fix this problem for Suzanne and tree stump number three. I'm going to go back from shading tab to the layout. Again, I'm going to go to the material properties, click new and just change the title and then click add texture. Okay. Base 0.006. So I'm going to go back to shading and make sure that I'm on base 0.006. And then once I clicked pastel in the deep paint add-on, it adjusted to Suzanne number three. This time I'm gonna make Suzanne like a green moss color. And again, I'm just gonna fast forward to me coloring Suzanne number three. Now that Suzanne number three is done, I'm going to finally color tree trunk number three to make sure what happened with Suzanne number two and tree trunk number two doesn't happen again. I'm going to go to the material properties and create a new material. Now that that's done, I'm gonna to go to the shader tab and I'm gonna to go to the shader editor and add an image texture node. Okay, I'm gonna select new and then change the name. I'm gonna change the color to white Okay, and then I'm gonna plug in the color of the image textured node to the base color of the principled BSDF shader. We did that, we have the tree stump selected, but we still see the UV map of the colored in Suzanne. There's one more step we have to do. So we need to go to UV editing. And if you look at our third tree stump, not everything is selected. So I'm going to press shortcut A, which will select everything. Press shortcut U, unwrap, smart, UV project to generate UVs for the tree stump. Perfect, that's exactly what we need. So now I'm going to go back to layout, back under texture for the deep paint add-on and then click add texture. Okay. And right here, I accidentally clicked that again. That is my fault. I shouldn't have done that. Okay, cancel, thank you. And so now I just actually kind of have to make sure base number six is selected. And then what I've noticed, if you kind of just, I don't need that bottom one, but if I kind of just move it slightly, 
it goes from Suzanne back to the tree stump, which is what we need. So now I'm going to click pastel and there we go. So when I go into color with the pastel brush, I should be good. Before I start to color, I'm going to delete that extra. I'm pressing just X. That was my fault. So now when I go in to paint the tree stump, everything should be good. And I know I mentioned this previously to color. I'm just using my mouse, not a traditional drawing pad. And you can always right click to have to adjust the color or select another brush. I'm going to fast forward here, but this is pretty much. Yeah, I'm done coloring the tree stump number three. If you made it to the end, thank you so much. We went over DPM, textured brushes, specifically pastel, UV editing, shader, dynamic typology, decimate modifier, remesh modifier, so much. Well, again, thank you so much. I hope you learned, oh, I hope you learned more about the deep paint add-on. This is Joyce and Anthony, AKJJ. Until next time.